You and I are in the Jeep. We're heading down the Greenland Cove Road. We're going to Sandy Beach, a new listing. Camp, lot, extra land across the road. Hang on, we're almost there. We're going to a northern main lake. We made it. 354 Sandy Beach Road. We're on East Grand Lake. This one has a sandy beach. It's clear and it's private. It's already got a dock. The cottage is metal roofed and you have lots of extra ground across the road. That's ideal for parking, for future septic system, for a boathouse, for guest cottage. And those lots on the other side of Sandy Beach are huge, very deep. You've got your land along the East Grand Lake frontage, the eighth largest lake in the state, and going up to camp, uh, there's nothing like it. If you own a property on the waterfront, I'm preaching to the choir. But if you don't, you're starting a tradition. You come up every long weekend, and it's not just nice when it's hot and the 4th of July and all the cousins and family members are running around. It's great in the fall for hunting, in the winter for snow sledding. And with the high-speed internet, bring your job with you. Telecommute. Would you rather be on a lake in Maine or stuck in a crowded, hot, noisy, dangerous city? Choice is easy. Let's check this cottage out at 354 Sandy Beach Road, East Grand Lake in Danforth, Maine. Look how clean. Gravel bottom. This is one deep lake and it goes through four different townships even into Canada. This is no little puddle. Like the sandy beach, the dock's all in place too. This is looking up the lake. This is what you have along the beach. There's a platform, an old fishing boat. Those stay in the sail. You also have some well-established, large adult trees. Eighteen by seven, roughly the size of this screened in porch that overlooks the water. The whole cottage overlooks the water. Boards. Lots of boards on the exterior and in all the construction on this one. It's a camp. Finish it off or leave it a camp. What's your definition of a camp anyway? I've seen some camps that are really palatial homes. Granite countertops, all the other whirlpools that you get at home. Most people don't want to have another house to take care of. This could become a second home at some point, but it could be just a cottage for those vacations for now. The wood stove, kitchen table, couch, four bunks upstairs, two bedrooms downstairs, all this comes with the sale. This is how you heat this lakeshore place, a wood stove. You could add to that. Put in a gas heater, one of those K1 a heat pump, an oil hot air furnace. See the circuit breakers? This is bedroom number one. We pull down the stairway because we're going to go up and take a peek up into the attic area. Bedroom number two on the ground level. First floor. That may be all the cottage or camp you need. But if you need more bedrooms, we're going to go up. Roughly 26 feet long. 10 feet usable space in this cape. You already have a metal roof, but you could have a little bump out. Put a dormer so that whoever's up here wakes up looking at the same lake that you get downstairs. Those sliders. All these extra wide windows make that lake right in your lap. Hold it, don't take off yet. There's more to the video. 354 Sandy Beach 
includes the lot across the road. This is your frontage on the lake lot with the camp. This is identical frontage on the other side of the road. See the culvert? They already added it in a driveway and a parking lot. Here's the excellent opportunity to build a garage, to park all those cars of friends and family and loved ones, and maybe guest camps to develop this area. These back lots, like the front lots, are surveyed, but they're even bigger. They're huge. They're ideal because they have a right away to the lake too. The owner could have sold these separately, but don't you want this land so no one's looking over your shoulder? I'm Main Realtor Andy Moores. Thank you very much for watching, listening to the Main Real Estate channel. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel if you're not already a channel member, and make comments down below. Everybody benefits from those comments. This is the Greenland Cove boat launch. This is where you're going to put your boat in, then go down the lake a little ways and dock it up next to your float, then bring it back in the fall. Lots of parking. It's an easy way to put your boat in. Any lake over 20 acres is supposed to have a public landing. So East Grand's got a few. There's a lot of other lakes to explore too. Here in Maine, remember, we're good stewards of the lake too. We don't have milfoil and we don't want it. We also want to protect the lake and think like a fish to give this resource to our kids in better shape than we got. Milfoil is an invasive vegetation that takes over your lake, changes the oxygen levels, the temperature, and all kinds of awful things. We don't want to have milfoil. Milfoil is about four hours away, so we're pretty lucky. There's even a little house out back for nature calls at the public landing. There's even a parking lot. In case you want to come to the lake, check it out before you actually buy a property.